We had just finished having dinner and we were listening to John Williams' The Imperial March when suddenly this happened. I love it, Gabe. Wait, there are more. Okay. So that's my middle son, Gabe. And as you can see, he's trying to figure out the Imperial March basically by ear while listening to the Imperial March. So this is a video for my Gabe so that you can see how to play the Imperial March with all the right notes. And for thousands of kids out there, who I know for a fact would love to play this awesome melody. I know for sure I have hundreds alone here in school that would love to learn this. So with that being said, let's get to our Imperial March tutorial. I have a little tripod here that I'm going to spin and we're going to go down to my piano. Eventually I'll have two cameras which will make a really cool transition much smoother. So let's begin. I'll play this in two, I'll play this twice. The first time, really slowly, let's walk through the fingerings and notes. And the second time, I'll just play through. So here we go, starting on G, third finger. E flat. Now move over your fourth finger, D. And get ready to use your pinky on E flat. G flat thumb cross over to E flat second finger. B flat fifth finger. And then G natural third finger. Now moving up to the octave higher G with your pinky. Play this G flat or F sharp and the F natural with the same finger. Makes things a little easier. And now G sharp thumb, pinky C sharp as they come. Makes it so much easier. Down to E flat, G flat. All black keys. Now, thumb on G natural. That's a white key. Again, fourth finger for the G flat and F. And now G sharp again. Thumb. Fingers as they come. Which makes it so much easier. And let's finish it out with E flat with your thumb. So there's a lots of accidentals going on here. You're using black keys, you're playing G flats. So as long as you're watching carefully where my fingers are going, I think you will be okay. Now let's play through the whole thing. Here we go. Thank you. 
And that is the end of it. Let's turn my camera back around here, back to me. There we go. And so, thank you. I hope that was useful to you. Please let me know if you were able to follow my fingers, if it was easy to see. And the other question is, what song should I do next? That's what I'm wondering. Should I continue doing movie music? Should I pick something else? It kind of helps to have feedback. So if you leave me a comment, I will most definitely, I will most definitely respond back to you. So again, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this and I hope you learned something. I will see you next time. See you later.